Dr. Laura, and I've suggested this exercise as a great one. Actually, it's a stretch. Stretches and exercises are in two. Strength and conditioning, which is I want to gain muscle and strength, and there's stretch and mobility. We're talking stretch and mobility here. So either you're new into care, and we've thought together that this is a good one for you, or maybe you are experienced in our office and I've also had the thought that this one would be uh, good for you. Create a bolster. So a bolster, you can either get it from a yoga place or you can make your own. This is a pool noodle wrapped twice in a towel tied with elastic bands. Here's the idea. I'm going to put that down. Now you can do this. I'm on a bench, but you can do this on the ground. We're going to lie back on it. Okay. So your whole body weight. And the key is you want to put the bolster lower thoracic. I don't like to suggest going down here because it does aggravate the low back. So mid thoracic. And what we do is we just let that whole front upper body fall over. Peace. Gravity is actually doing its part. Pulling those shoulders, if you can get a place where you can get that the arms out to T, I can't because I'm there's a backside up here. But if that arm can fall away, relaxing. So what it does is relax this upper thoracic, bring the rib cage down, allows those ribs to move in a way that stimulates the vagus nerve. Now the vagus nerve is a parasympathetic for healing, growth, repair, digest. So it tells the body we're safe enough to relax. And this is why I could have probably suggested this for you in terms of if that nervous system is in that fight or flight or that forward, if we're like this at our desk all day, that body is in on guard. We're in that panic posture. We need to open up, so relax, tell these muscles to relax, and then we look at strengthening the, extens the extensor. So this is one for posture, this is one to get your brain back online and your body into that resting state. So you want to take nice big belly breaths, signals the brain and the body to dampen down to relax. You want to stay here 5, 10, 15 minutes if you can only do two because this might aggravate the back. And I say that because if the, back, the, if the spine is so rigid and forward, it's not going to like being put into extension. If what we need is to go into extension, it's not going to like that. So if you can start with two minutes, work up to 15, that's fabulous. If you lie here, opens up that front body. So this is a great one for mobility rest and relaxation. I hope you found that helpful. And again, any questions, comments, reach out, connect with me and I'll see you next time in the office.